Hello guys and girls, another video for you. Today we're drawing SCP-6004. And this was requested by one of my fans. Uh, name of this fan was I am crab9158. So thank you for requesting and Watch the full video to see the finished drawing. So this is the rainbow serpent, it's called. And a little background on this is, it basically controls human, like the, the climate on planet Earth, so we humans, if we pollute too much or kill too many animals or hurt nature in different ways, then this SCP will show itself and it will cause chaos pretty much everywhere it goes. It will cause tsunamis, earthquakes. It has like a rainbow laser beam. Um, which it can use if it's if that happens so the SCP try to to keep earth as clean as possible like eco-friendly and stuff like that so it's a really cool looking SCP I like snakes I think they're very cool animals mystic I know many people don't like them, but me specifically, I I have a fondness for, for them, but I would not personally want a snake myself, no way. That is asking too much for me. So I imagine this snake is wrapping around the mountain, kind of looking out. And it's an all seeing snake, this one. It can see if you're bad, like if you're a bad person, it will it will uh, find you somehow. And it has these curled horns by the description. Like so, just doing the basic sketch before we go into too much detail, pretty much what we do with all our drawings. And um, yeah, let's see where we go with this. And it's kind of like, maybe there's some lake here. I don't know, some open field, kind of. We want to play with scale here a bit. So uh, we're done with the line art. Now we're gonna do the shading and what I have planned here is this is kind of like the foreground right here kind of so this is section is gonna be dark and a bit like so and this kind of like a something some type of um, lake or something going here so, all right, just very basic shading here. Very, very basic, nothing special until we, until we figure this out and um, 
get a feeling for the for the light and um, stuff like that. I'm not quite sure yet where we're gonna have the light, but maybe it's coming from this direction. So the sun is, yeah, I think so. I think that will look good. Something like this. So the mountains give off very big, big shadows because they're mountains, obviously. Maybe here in the background, there's some mountains also just hints of it. All right, I think we're good with that. Now we're gonna um, use the stomp pan and just smoothen out all the shadows. All the shadows we smooth out. Just like this. And the eye is kinda, if you think, eye of Sauron. That's how I imagine it, so. It doesn't say in the description, but it's an all-seeing eye and it's a reptile eye, just like Sauron's eye from Lord of the Rings. So yeah, that's what we're going for. So the eye is gonna be very glowy kinda and um, all-seeing. I made a little sketch before this, just to have a reference to go off. I do that when I don't feel 100% sure about the drawing or I need reference. Because uh, I don't draw animals often and especially I don't draw snakes a lot. So you really need a good reference for that then. This is a magical snake, so it can, um, Apparently, based on the description, change its appearance from snake to snake. So sometimes it's one snake, another time it's another. So that's that. Don't. This SCP doesn't stick to one. One uh, look. Yeah, I think we got a pretty good feeling of uh, what we want here. It's kind of, it's like he's woken up and looking around like what is going on? Who woke me? And the SAP Foundation actually managed or it subdued itself. Like after rampaging and killing billions of people, it just stopped attacking. And it went to sleep in a lake or an ocean, I don't know what it was exactly. And no one knows why it stopped attacking, but it's it's sleeping now until the next attack when humans get to, I don't know, too ignorant with the climate. So let's do some cleanup here on the silhouettes. Not too much, just a little bit so we get a better grasp of where we're gonna place our lines when we do that. And if you want to follow along and draw with me, please do. That would be super fun. Have a little art community where we draw together. And if you want to show me your drawings, please do. That would be awesome as well. Uh, like this. Yeah, the, the only thing we really had to clean up here is this part of the snake. Um, because that's it, it, it's important that this shape here is have a, has a very clear silhouette, that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, we're 
gonna work on this a little bit more. Like so, and now we can start adding a bit more values where we want it to be a little bit darker. The mountain here is gonna be dark. The cliffs kind of like so uh, tail here is gonna cast a shadow on the mountain Something like that. Uh, we work a bit here. I imagine there's like small trees here in the foreground. There's like a mountain, mountainside here. Like so. Like this. And a bit more values here, perfect. Not much, That's this part is not gonna be the focus. The foreground is not gonna get a lot of detail. Because we want the eye to be looking here. So that's where we put all the, all the detail. Pretty much. Pretty much what we're gonna do here. So, just keep shading and add values here and there where we want them until we're happy. And then we can use the stomp pen again to smooth out all these shadows. Just like this. And this tail is gonna be in darkness actually, this part, the tail. Because of the mountain casting a shadow on it, like so. Just like that. Just like this. And we're not gonna go into too much detail on the snake either because it's, you have to remember it's quite far away. It's back in the distance, so. How much detail are you gonna see really anyways?
thank you guys so much for uh, all the likes and the comments and uh, the follows. I really appreciate all of you guys. Um, keeps me going knowing people watch this and people can comment what they want and I I draw it. And I can't keep I keep saying this, but but this series can be endless because there's an endless amount of recipes. So so yeah, keep this series going. Keep liking. Keep commenting. Keep being awesome, and um, I'll keep drawing for you guys. And you guys really seem to like the shorts video and but I've noticed a spike in the normal videos that you, you guys really seem to like those as well with me commenting so I'm gonna keep doing it this way. Now we can go over this very loosely, smoothen out all the lines, all, all the lines here. the best we can like this. Something like this. Yeah, looking pretty good. We're slowly getting there and um, This one is kind of hard to not add the background to because it's in a environment kind of. Um, you have to put it in an environment to understand its scale. That's what I mean. You can put all recipes, other recipes in environments too if you want, but for this one it's quite important to, to add an environment. So we're gonna add a little bit of stuff here in the background, like this. It's not gonna be a sunny day, I think, in this. It's just kind of cloudy, misty, moody. Misty mountain. All right. Now we can um, start filling this in. Like so, starting to take, starting to slowly take shape here.
right and the tail is kind of going like this around the mountain and then it backs around like that and then it's gonna come back here like so Like so. Then we work on this lake here a little bit. Like so. And these trees, we give them a little bit of love. Not too much, just, just a little bit. Not too much, just like that. Yeah, like so. And in the background we have another mountain range, kind of, like so. Like so. We work a bit more on the shading here. That's what it's all about, working on the shading and getting getting to the point where you're happy with that so you can move on to something else. Highlights, details, whatever it would be. Whatever it would be. So Keep working on this till we're happy. Give this a lake a bit of um, reflections. I intend to keep this video this kind of same length, so around 50 minutes, 50, 55 minutes. I don't want to push these videos and make them unnecessarily long, so we just gotta stay focused and get to it. Yeah, let's do a gradient on this mountain, so it's gonna be dark here, dark here. And then the, the further up we go, it's gonna be brighter. And the trees here, they're gonna have a bit of glow, like it looks like it's misty here in the foreground. So we give this a bit of a rinse as well of um, values. Give it a bit more wash and make it a bit more contrast filled. This and you can bet I'm gonna smudge this graphite on my hand. You can bet bet on it. I'm uh, trying not to, but yeah, we actually I checked my hand now and we're doing pretty well with that. <laughs> That's my mission to try and have a clean hand um, after finishing a drawing. Try to have a clean hand. 
and that is not at all as easy as it sounds, trust me. Just try and make this mountain a bit more mountainish, mountainy. That's probably not a word, but whatever. So light is gonna catch here. Shadows going here, like so. Yeah, the lake is gonna be a bit darker. It's not gonna be this white, actually. Just like this. Let's work a bit on, on the snake. Get it just where we want it. Actually, we don't want... Let's work on the light a bit more here. It's gonna catch a lot of light, this head. Perfect. Yeah, let's not work too much on that. Uh, let's do that. And now we're gonna go through this once more, one last time, before we go into the real detail of adding highlights and uh, stuff like that. So we go through this. Then we're gonna lose a lot of detail, but it's fine, that's what happens. Trust the process and um, we'll eventually get there. Now it's gonna be washing uh, away a lot of this um, contrast, but we'll add back all of that after this. So like that, yeah, that side of the mountain is not gonna catch any light at all. Very sharp shadow, yeah, like that. Just very loosely, don't add any pressure when you're drawing with the stump pen, no pressure at all, just very loosely. It's gonna suck up all this ink. this I like the look we gave the snake it doesn't look like any snake I've seen it's kind of that's the point I want it to look like supernatural snake it's like it's kind of familiar familiar but kind of not at all otherworldly being that um, frightens you So, reminds me of the Misty Mountain destroying the, the Lonely Mountain from The Hobbit. Kind of smog, smog feeling. Yeah. All right. Now we work a bit on the highlights and you gotta be careful here with the highlights. It's gonna be very small highlights, very, very small. 
because the snake is so far back you can barely tell but the eye we want to be really glowy so even from so far away you can see this this terrifying glowing eye so like this give the eye a bit more love like so just to make it look a bit more interesting it was too flat now it looks a bit better yeah like this so be very selective where you place place your um, highlights now be very selective about that and I'm thinking if we add scales you see we can kind of um, give the impression that there's scales here by doing this kind of that there's something going on there with just erasing stuff like this and they're kind of translucent uh, snakes it's not with many things, they can be translucent, so it, they'll catch a bit of light from a bounce light out in nature. If you don't know about bounce light, check that out. It's a very useful tip, but you want to be sparse with that as well. Don't want to go overboard. Not everything catches bounce light, but many things do. So, so same here we're gonna make it look like there's some there's some scales going on here like this give it some texture like this is a big snake it's gonna when it moves around it's gonna get damaged like trees are gonna damage it this big rocks on the mountain it's not coming unscathed from going through in this world it's too big for its own good kind of so we add add stuff like this Yeah, I really like where we went with this snake. It's, um, I think it's because I have my own reference. It kind of, it looks like a snake, my reference, but at the same time, it looks like a dragon. So it's kind of a mix of two, mix of the two, which is pretty awesome. Pretty awesome like so this is not gonna be so sharp this mountain is gonna be glistening a bit mountain tops as you know they do that they glisten when um, sunlight hits them or stuff like that same here actually same here this is gonna be really the edges are not gonna be super clear like so quite uh, advanced composition this um, the foreground and the, the small background and stuff like that and um, playing around with scale is always hard it's uh, it's quite hard scale and perspective is one of the more difficult things when drawing in my opinion but while drawing we can learn from each other learn a thing or two about drawing here 
how to create better, better drawings more effectively. That's what we're all about here. Because you don't want to be, be wasting a lot of time and then it doesn't even look good. So yeah, let's give the horns a bit of love here. Haven't worked a bit on those. Like so, starting to take shape here. And I was thinking about adding like clouds, but I'm not the best at drawing clouds. When I draw clouds, it's so, it's very cartoonish the way I draw clouds. So we're not, we're gonna skip that and we're just gonna add black hints like in the background, like this, there's something going on. You don't know what, but maybe there's clouds, maybe something's going on there. And this mountain is gonna have a little bit of glow and aura around it, same with the snake. Not much, not much, but... Because snake skin in light, it's a very... It's very glossy, can be very shiny. Yeah, like so. Some snakes even look like candy. Like, there's a green type of snake and it looks like a Swedish type of candy. Like you just wanna take that snake and put it in your mouth, uh, eat it up. But yeah, you all know what would happen if you did that. You would get bitten. And... No animal wants to be eaten willingly. <laughs> Just come eat me. Maybe hamsters. Hamsters are fun creatures. They don't give crap if they're... Oh, predator picked me up. Oh, well, that's it for me. Let me sharpen my pen a bit. Add very, very small details to the eyes. Just to make it look a bit more interesting. Same with the same with the horns, give it a little, little bit of detail. And this is the, the pen we use to make thick lines, so the thick outlines. And we're actually gonna say goodbye to that pen now and go to this one, the more light pen. And we're gonna add some of that, the lines. So where we did erase some stuff, we now go Go back with this pen and fill in some of those gaps. So we add texture with the white pen and the black graphite pen. And eventually you do this and you'll have an amazing result. You'll have textures, you have something more interesting to look at than just a very, very tubish flat looking snake and this snake has I don't want to add scales to it I think we're happy with this because the scales are gonna be so so small if you add scales now it's just gonna look silly um, it's gonna look silly because um, the scales are quite small And it would just lose a bit of form, I think, if I added the scales now. So we skip that. A bit more value here to the foreground. Just, I don't want the eye to go here to the foreground. I want, want it to be focused on the snake. 
And one way of doing that is making these darker. Because these are just dark, dark patches. There's nothing interesting going on here. So the eye doesn't go there, naturally. Yeah, something like this. We go through with the stump pen once more, just on this area, no other, just smoothing out these lines. And same with the stump pen, it makes it easy for the eye to look at if you smoothen it out. Um, so this pen is really invaluable, this is really, really good. We lost a bit of the shape of the lake actually. Let's fill that in a little bit, not too much, just. I don't know where the lake is going. Maybe it's going that way, like so. It's going kind of around the, around the mountain, something like that. Just, you can kind of see there's a lake, something is going going along here, up to the snake. So I'm kind of leading the eye by creating that lake and having those two foreground mountains and make your eyes go to the snake. Let's work a little, little bit more on the mountain. Just small, small, small details. Nothing, nothing big at all. Just very small details that the, that I will be able to pick up. So we've been drawing for 42 minutes now, which is very good. We. You, we're usually at this point in drawing now, um, almost done stage, which is nice. We try to keep being consistent with our drawing method and workflow. Just try and be consistent with that. It's always nice. Add a bit of darkness to that eye, like so. Maybe give this mountain a bit more outline. I want to it for the eye to be easy to see where the mountain begins and the, the tail of the snake begins. So we just give it a little bit, a little bit of love here. Nothing much. And since this is a rainbow snake, maybe we add some some type of rainbow pattern because that's what I had in my um, my sketch. Uh, or actually, no. I think we are happy doing it this way, just having it be really scarred up and maybe if we drew this in color, it would, uh, I imagine it's, it's very, it has different colors and it's shifting like a chameleon almost. Um, in my sketch, I had like lines, <laughs> rainbow lines on it. so. That would give a very cartoonish feeling, I think, if we added that. So this is the better alternative for sure. That's a very freaky looking snake. I do not like, I do not like this guy. Do not like at all.
just add add back a little bit a little bit you don't want to leave too light of lines because then it's gonna look like you've missed to fill that in and you don't want that maybe we add some dots to it small dots maybe we add some birds I don't know about the birds actually if we should do that we just add small 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 details now nothing no one is gonna see it in a million years but matters to me because I'm a perfectionist I want it to be perfect or I won't be able to sleep at night <laughs> that's literally the way I am um, Yeah, so a rainbow snake, very cool. Let's see if we can add, maybe we add a small, small birds to the mountain. Yeah, that looks cool because birds like flocking to, to mountain tops and stuff like that, so. It kind of looks like a rumbling um, snake woke up very abruptly and it uh, grabbed a hold of this mountain and it scared the birds. So this is a snake that can move so fast it creates tsunamis. So for it to wrap around the mountain in seconds should be no problem. I'm not quite happy with this edge we got going here. Uh, let's work a bit more, not too much, as I always say. <laughs> be sparse with details, be sparse with everything. Um, just a little bit. We, I think we need to make this mountain darker. This side at least. It's catching too much of the bounce light and mountains don't really work like that they have dark and they have light like so yeah that looks better and then the the tail here is gonna be in darkness like so and we've been drawing for 48 minutes i think I think we are almost done with this one. We could add a bit, bit more, uh, a few more levels to this um, foreground to make it look more interesting. Like a few more, maybe trees closer to us. Just an innuation of the trees here, like. I don't know if that's the word innuation, but um, you can kind of tell there's something going on there. Maybe the lake is glist glistening a bit. There's some, some highlights. So, give a bit more detail to the foreground, so it's not too blurry, want it to be kind of sharp, so it's, it's that kind of forest, um, Christmas tree, uh, tree. I don't know what they're called. I don't know what they're called in English. So we say Christmas tree tree. That makes sense, right? Yeah. 
Oh, what, what tree is that? That's an oak. What's that? That's a Christmas tree tree. Oh, Christmas tree tree. Okay. Add a bit more love to the horns and then I think we should be pretty much done with this one. Yeah, and we have to remember that it's having a little bit of glow, a little bit, so we can just press harder around the area we want glow on. So obviously this is not gonna have glow because it's in darkness, but this area here we can, we can do like this, same here. A little bit here just to give the head a bit more you can kind of we kind of outlining the head by giving it the background like so quite happy with how this um, piece came out um, quite happy with it I um, it's kind of how I imagined it I wouldn't change much I uh, hope you guys like it as well and if you do if you've come this far into the video please hit the like button and um, leave a comment leave a comment of what SAP you want me to draw next and uh, you can be sure I'll do that Yeah, let's give this C here a bit more highlights. Like so. And again, this was commented by the YouTube user I'm Crab9158. So thank you for commenting uh, and leaving a nice comment. Uh, really means a lot, uh, keeps me going through this series, knowing you guys watch and comment and uh, very nice to me. I really appreciate it. I think here we're gonna add a bit more weight to the, the tail giving it a bit more thickness since we added thickness here we will add thickness here just to make it look even evenly spaced detail and lines that's what you try and strive for My uh, neighbors had been drilling today um, during the day and I thought that oh, why, when I started recording that oh they're definitely gonna start drilling now but luckily there's been no drilling so but I think to avoid that I'm gonna because it's gonna happen eventually where I have to end the video because they're drilling so I'm gonna be recording later in the day, maybe when everyone is sleeping. I think that's a better plan. Let's actually give the, the mountain crevices more love, just so the tail isn't sticking out too much. You want it to look connected. A 
like this. Just adding a few lines here and there and you make it look connected. Like I said with the foreground, we're not gonna be adding too much more to that, just maybe some lines to sharpen it here and there. And then we, um, we're gonna call it. Been a really fun drawing, as usual, drawing this. If it wasn't fun, I wouldn't be doing this. Um, but there's something appealing about having such a scientific uh, description to something very clear and then making your own it's like reading a book you you make your own perception of how things look when uh, when reading that's why uh, reading is so popular And why there's so many movie to book, uh, movie to book adaptations that are bad, because of that just reason. Anyways, guys, I think we are finished. I think we are done with this one. Just gonna work a little bit more on the on this uh, horn here, just a little bit, just to make it look connected to the head. Maybe a bit more to the jaw and then we're gonna call it. I keep saying that, gonna call it, gonna call it. But knowing myself, I'm a perfectionist, so. <laughs> yeah, maybe made it die too dark now. Yeah, giving it that glow in the middle like that, that's really something, that's really cool. So, we are gonna add some more here, because that part is way, way, way too bright. And it's gonna be cropping some of the video. I'm gonna be cropping when I edit it, so. Some parts are not gonna come into view maybe, uh, but I strive to have as much of the drawing as possible in view. So thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.